We are going to spend the next few days showing you why you should ride the 52-hour train across the USA. This is the Amtrak sleeper train, and we are going to be living on it for the next 52 hours. The next three days, we have an exciting journey ahead of us as we dive into the fascinating world of train travel and explore one of the most iconic routes in the United States, the California Zephyr. San Francisco all the way to Chicago. That means we're taking a train across the entirety of the United States. We are going to show you what it's like to live on this train, what you can eat, a shower sequence, and can you fall asleep on a moving train? All while traveling through seven states over 2,438 miles with highlights such as traveling 10,000 feet above sea level, snaking the California countryside, the Sierra Nevadas, the dramatic Upper Rockies, and then rural USA all the way to Chicago. Last week, we left you in Columbia where we tried car camping. We touched down in LA where we missed our flight to San Francisco. So we rented a car, picked up Din Tai Fung, and drove five and a half hours until 2.30 a.m. where we laid our heads before the big day. Welcome to the Emeryville station where we are boarding the California Zephyr. We're at the dining car. Okay, so I'm so excited. <laughs> it's feeling real now, y'all. Look how big it is. We're going back in time, folks, to a time before flying yep. and driving. From what I've learned, you get on and it starts going. The first step is getting on the train and meeting our conductor, Tony the Tiger. Top What's your name? Tony? Tony like the tiger. Tony like the tiger, <laughs> I like it. This is so cool. Woo! You got it, good That's day. That's amazing. Thank you, Tony the Tiger. I could put one underneath. Oh. Oh, you know how to do the baggage, obviously? Right away. Wow. Keep your space. It's like it doesn't even exist. Right. <laughs> Unreal. There we go. Thank you. Back. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the Amtrak sleeper train. 52 hours across the country. I'm so excited. It's getting, it's feeling real. I didn't think I'd be this stoked to be in here right now. What? This is like another world. This Who is a knew? trip of a lifetime, everyone. You guys are in the wrong one. Oops, wrong cart. And now we have Carl as our cart person. As the train departs, we settle into our cozy accommodations. We got a full bedroom in a sleeper car. This is our train car attendant, Carl. Every cart has their very own. This is the full experience already. Train life, baby. We're leaving San Francisco. Not me spotting the three course dinner menu right away. <laughs> Our fascination with train travel began when we were traveling Asia. We took an overnight train 13 hours from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. We're gonna spend the next few days convincing you why you should take the California Zephyr across the United States. This is like van life 3.0, except you don't need to do much. You pretty much just teleport from one destination to another. In a lot of places, we're gonna see views that you cannot see from the road because train tracks were built well before cars and roadways. Okay, now that we're snaking across America, let's settle in. Sleeper cars. These are designed for passengers who prefer a more private and comfortable experience. Sleeper cars typically include various room options such as roomettes, bedrooms, and family bedrooms. Passengers in sleeper cars have access to amenities like showers and can enjoy meals in the dining car. All right, this is the shower. You shower where you use the restroom. Yes, we have our very own shower and toilet we're in gonna, our room. We're gonna shower in a train. And we're gonna shower on a train. It's actually so cool. This is a lot like our van bathroom, I would say. Bigger. Just a lot nicer. You're gonna need this handle, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> I am 100% challenging myself to shower while the train's moving. I'm not doing it at no stop. No way. We have two beds, an upper and lower bunk, a table. Tip number one. Bring some chess or checkers players. You can literally play right here. A big viewing window, our own vanity, a bathroom that has a toilet and a shower, and endless space to put your luggage, including a closet. We're all moved in. Look at all the space we have. Maybe, you can have a dance, Fatty. Maybe it's because we lived in a van, but 
my expectations were not this large. We are starting our journey through California and believe it or not, it's 9.41 in the morning and we've only got coffee in the belly. But these views are making up for that because it is California dreamy. These landscapes are going to be so different from what we see this evening, from what we see tomorrow and the next day as America's landscapes are extremely diverse. Train tour! We're gonna show you the entire California Zephyr. There are several different carts that make up the entire train to cater to different passengers' needs. Let's go through all of them. We're starting in the sleeper train. These are bedrooms. The bedrooms actually make up the entirety of the cart. They take up quite a lot of space, as you can see, leaving a small walkway and a second view of the other side of the train. I would say getting a full bedroom is worth it just because you get the double view. Around the corner, we've got the coffee station. This is where we're hanging. Coffee, water, everything you need. And then as you continue this way down the cart, we are still in the sleeper train. However, these are the roomettes. So we have rooms on both the left side and the right side. They're quite a bit smaller, but you can still sleep comfortably. The roomettes share a communal restroom. This entire wall is the span of our room. This is the span of the roomette. This is the top deck, now down to the lower deck. Luggage storage. More roomettes. Entry and exit points. Or viewing. Real quick, health is so important to us and so is taking our vitamins. Over the last few months, we have been taking Mary Ruth's and I can officially share with you that they have very quickly become some of our favorites. Thank you to Mary Ruth's for sponsoring this week's video. This is Mary Ruth's multivitamin. You may have seen it. It became very popular and viral on the internet. First, it tastes good. This matters. It's a raspberry morning multivitamin. Forgot my spoon. Not only does it taste delicious, but it looks delicious. Mm. So good. There are so many vitamins, amino acids, and minerals packed into this bottle. Another plus is if you don't like swallowing pills, this is a very great option. Mary Ruth's is clean label certified, which is huge. That means you're getting que queen... <laughs> clean quality vitamins for you and your family. They have so many fantastic products and I want to show you what we've been using. This is for the menstrual girlies. This is really good in supporting you through menstruation. Iron, vegan collagen. To check out Mary Ruth's, click the link in our description to get 20% off for new and existing customers using our code MRO VANWIVES. You're gonna love it. This is an inclusive room. As you can see, there's much more space. Okay, now we're really exploring. We're leaving the sleeper cars and moving on. The dining car offers freshly prepared meals and it's a social hub where passengers can gather for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The cuisine is often highly spoken about and the communal seating encourages interaction amongst travelers. It's not just a meal, it's a dining experience with panoramic views as our backdrop. This car is designed for passengers who want to enjoy the breathtaking scenery with large windows and sometimes even a glass dome roof providing uninterrupted views of the ever-changing landscapes. It's a great spot for sightseeing, photography, and socializing. From the observation car, we can go down to the cafe and the lounge. The lounge car is another social space on the train, offering comfortable seating, large windows, and sometimes a cafe or bar service. Passengers can relax, enjoy a drink, and take in the views. Lastly, the coach car. These are standard seating cars for passengers who prefer a more economical option. Coach cars can offer comfortable seats, restrooms, and the option to purchase snacks and beverages. Update, I'm still in complete awe that we're actually on a three-day train to Chicago. I'm so stoked and so happy that everyone who inspired us to do this, we're doing it. <laughs> can you believe we're doing this? I can't believe it. I can. It's so sick. Are you coming this, this way? way? Um, or rooms? Room E. I think you're that way. Thanks. Dan, welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. I am your captain. They call them conductors. Hello. Hello, we're a little off, right? Yeah. All right, everyone, we are at our yeah. first long stop. We have 
10 minutes. We've made it to Sacramento, the fourth stop for the train, but the first of the nine most popular stops where you can get out, take a stretch, get some fresh air, which I imagine is going to be very nice. We have an unknown amount of time here, and until they say all aboard, we're free. First thing to know, this station was built in 1926. Let's just rewind and go back to train travel in 1926. Wow. And we've made it our mission to get off at every long stop possible. Summer at 5 a.m. We are not early risers, but we will see you at every stop. Look how big it is compared to you. I know. Just gonna put this out there, and I don't know, really know what it means, but it is truly such a funny way to travel. Just like this big, giant metal, hunk of metal, flying down a hunk of metal. Right here. Uh -huh. To your left, up the stairs. You got it. <laughs> we did it. Didn't be without us. First stop was a success. <laughs> <laughs> She's running for the dining hall. <laughs> she hungry. It's someone's birthday. Happy birthday. That's so fun, spending your birthday on the train. I love it. it smells good. It smells really good. Really good. Really really good. Today we're having a plant burger with chips, with a drink, and you can have dessert. All the meals on the Amtrak train are included in your fare. And that was lunch. 10 out of 10 exceeded my expectations once again. I have to say that I am feeling a little weird right now. Are your ears popping? No, I feel dizzy. Oh, I thought that was gonna be me. It's too bad it's you. Where are we see? And we're in the snow, everyone. These first views on the California Zephyr train have been incredible. We said goodbye to the Golden Gate Bridge. We were welcomed by ocean views, cities, rolling hills, and now, mountain ranges with enormous trees and we have a blanket of snow as we reach a higher elevation. This is the Donner's Pass. We're 7,000 feet above sea level and it is absolutely beautiful. Snow everywhere, hugging the Sierra Nevadas. Another awesome reason to get a full room, not only to have obviously more space, but you have views from either side of the train. You can look out at your private window back there or directly through your door out to the other side. If I didn't have both views, I feel like I'd be missing half of the ride and I'd have to do it twice. Why do you think it hit you like that? I was looking for animal tracks. What? I was looking for animal tracks. Did <laughs> you find any? <laughs> yeah. Saw rabbits, deer, and maybe even some, maybe bear. Big ones. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Don't look for animal tracks while the train's moving. This could be you. Four minutes. The train is moving at the perfect pace to take it all in, passing right through Tahoe National Forest all the way up to 7,000 feet to the Donner Pass, where we will now be descending, heading into Truckee, the cutest town, and we're almost at the state border of Nevada, where we will get off in Reno. Can we just draw attention to the fact that every town that we stop in, <laughs> all of them so far, are adorable. It's like every town that the train goes through is out of a friggin' movie or a postcard. Can we also draw attention that our truck is named Trucky, courtesy of how Crystal names things? There's proof. All right, Pac, we're going through many different states and many different towns and cities. If we're bypassing you, let us know in the comments. And if you're from Truckee, I would like an invitation over. This is Reno Station coming up here in just a few moments. For those continuing on past Reno, if you wish to step off the train, get some fresh air, you can. My teammate left me behind. I was taking too long. Reno. Hey y'all, we crossed the state border and we're in Nevada. Welcome oh, to Reno. She probably already said this, but it's popular stop number two. Back 
back in time. I really do feel like we're in another era. All right, let's they don't it. wait for you, so if you don't get on, you are stuck and your stuff is gone. If you're unfamiliar with train travel, the reason why they stop is because they are picking up and dropping off people. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that, but just in case, now you know. We are at our dinner reservation and we are joined by our new two friends. <laughs> cheers everyone. Cheers. cheers. I don't even know your names yet, but we're gonna cheer. I'm John. I'm Chris. Chris. John and Chris. Nice to meet you. And what do we have? We have flank steak with mashed potatoes and looks like green beans and wax beans. And over here? I have salmon and green beans and a rice and a roll. Love it. You guys are professionals, by the way. Oh, in front of the camera, look at this. I've got a bolognese pasta with a plant sausage and green beans. And green beans and a bun. Yeah. That looks wow. very good. That's amazing. This is a three course meal, folks. How does it taste? Pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Oh yeah, sleep well. <laughs> oh, you're tall. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Good luck. We just had the most romantic dinner for two. Just kidding. We had the most fabulous dinner and met some friends. What's really cool about these trains is if you're traveling as two, you will sit down with another pair. And so both at lunch and dinner today, we were able to... You're forced to make friends. <laughs> meet people and it's been a great experience. Yeah, I'm happy. It is really fun and you get to know someone, they're from Atlanta, and you get to know their story, what they're doing here. They also yeah. watch YouTube and they love train content. I hope you are enjoying this train video because I am really enjoying the journey. She didn't make it. <laughs> I got you. Happy birthday, Tony. 7.32 on a train means Bedtime. Ah, uh, that's the bedding. Serious note, where did he pull this ladder out of? I actually don't even know. I have no idea. I can't believe they make your bed. I had to build my bed in a van. Who gets top and who gets bottom? I feel like the top isn't bad. You have to strap yourself in so you don't fall off. <laughs> yeah, that's you. There we go. I'm gonna go on this side. That's hilarious. Oh. You got a bed belt, girl. Keep you in there. And my roller. If you roll away down here, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Top bunk, because I'm the cool kid. You'd never know that there was a bed in the ceiling all day long, but there is two beds in here. The floor space gets a little tight right here. But overall, there's quite a bit of floor space. The mattresses, I would say, are more comfy than I would have imagined. This and one's harder. you have this fleece fluffy blue Amtrak. Blankets. And white sheets. I'd say living in luxury. It's better than I thought. Hmm. It's always better than I thought on Amtrak. First night sleeping on the Amtrak train. We've got a fancy blue light to fall asleep with. We're gonna see just how many hours we get uh, tonight and <laughs> we will let you know how much sleep we actually get. And don't be fooled, this train is stopping all throughout the night and we will see you in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. To be honest, I really like the fresh air. Time for some more shut eye. We woke up in the desert, everyone. Welcome to Utah. How did you sleep? The air smells like when you're on a plane and feels like when you're on a plane. Right? Okay, still <gasps> young. Okay. Check out those morning views. Jonathan, look out the window. Oh, whoa. <sighs> What? Too cold. Grand Junction, Colorado. Oh. First stop on the second day. And there is a shop with what looks like lots of fun things. The old station. We're halfway through the trip and I currently feel like I'm still on the train. All right, stop is already done. We gotta go. 
we good. The old train station, I was just told by Carl that they are trying to rebuild it actually. But, oh, where am I going? Wrong way. <laughs> but if you can see how it's built, it's probably more expensive to restore that building than it is just to build new, which is a silly part of our world, but very true. Day two in the observation deck, and our friends are back. As we ride along the Colorado River, it's told that the river rats will moon the zephyr every time it goes by. Don't believe us? Here's some butts! We then played piggies and took in the views, but we didn't see any butts. Only these cute ones. Big tip, getting to the observation deck early before you enter the Rockies is promising because you can get yourself a seat so take in the so view. Much. Okay, if we want to keep our goal of getting off at every big stop, we have to leave Wait, this cart leave as the, the observation and lounge, Ooh, it's loud, and the dining cart do not open for you to go out. So, gotta head back to our room, and I hope we make it. We made it, y'all, and this place is cute. Of all of the stops we've been to, Glenwood Springs is by far the most adorable. We've been transported back in time. This place is historic. It's the original and it is so cute. When you think train station, you think this train station. Loved every second of Glenwood Springs. Gotta get off at every stop, folks. Lunchtime, baked potato for Jazzy and a burger for the Burger Queen. With views of the Colorado River and then back to our room for the best part, the Rocky Mountains. I can't believe they made tracks in the mountains. There's a train going the other way. Is that another Amtrak? You can go from west to east or east to west. This one's going from east to west, and we're going west to east. Love it. As we climb through the Rocky Mountains, the train takes us to breathtaking altitudes, revealing snow-capped peaks and alpine scenery. This leg of the journey is truly a highlight for every single passenger. Everyone is glued to the window, as the views are unparalleled, and the sun sets behind the mountain. This is the best part. Woo! Wow, there's no roads, nothing. Just the tracks in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. Winker Park lives up to its name. This is a highlight of the trip and we're about to enter the Moffat Tunnel. The California Zephyr goes through many tunnels on its journey, but this one is by far the longest at 10 minutes. And it's 10,000 feet above sea level. Ready? Daytime. Nighttime. As the captain said, Enjoy the views, and just so you know, this 10 minute tunnel saves us two and a half hours because we would have been switching back through the mountains. Now you know the truth. Our second dinner looked a lot like our first, and before you know it, it's time to make the bed. We reached Denver, and we also started to experience our very first train delay. Denver! Broke what? Broke down. I may have made her say that. <laughs> They spent quite a while fixing the engine. The train started to move as we drifted into a slumber. Day three, starting with something we haven't Good morning, showed you all. Made breakfast. Breakfast. Look at all the condiments. And the reason we haven't made breakfast is because it only goes till 8.30. Write in the comments if you think it should go later because I definitely do. <laughs> Petition. <laughs> All right, we are running from breakfast to our second last stop. And let me tell you, it's a winter wonderland. You might be wondering, I thought you all missed the Omaha stop. Well, so did we. But our train was broken down all last night. Hence why we had no idea, because we actually slept. <laughs> Not only did we make breakfast, but we made it to Omaha, Nebraska. We're Our off. second last stop. And as you can see, it's getting much, much colder. It's supposed to be here at four in the morning. Look what time it is. Omaha. 
Ooh, my own lips. <laughs> well, well, well. It looks like we've been delayed many hours and all that talk of train delays is very true. The best part is about to come. Jasmine is having a shower on board the 52 hour train. I'm scared it's gonna be cold when it first starts. Do oh, here we go. Step two, press button. Oh, shower head stop, saves water. Hot water. This feels so good. It's been a whole three days. I'm doing a full shower on a train, everyone. Couldn't resist. Although day three looked a lot like day one and day two inside of the train, it's always a different view outside. As we chugged along towards Chicago, we have to say we are super excited to add trains to our method of travel. And we can't wait to ride more. Over the last three days, we have learned a lot, so here's our tips. It can get pretty dry in the train, especially in winter, and I would recommend Visine lip balm, drinking lots of water, and getting off the train for fresh air and a stretch whenever possible. Bring cash with you and don't be afraid to make some new friends. We met some very interesting people. Did we convince you to ride the train across America? Let us know. See you on the next one. We Yeah, yeah, yeah.